acceptance sampling so far we have studied about few important concepts such as aql which is acceptable quality limit rql which is rejectable quality limit also called as ltpd lot tolerance percent defective so these are two limits which we want aql is something which we want below that we want the percent defective in the lot to be less than that rql was the percentage that which we do not want in the lot to have so let's say we took an example of 1.5% as aql that any lot which has percent defective less than 1.5% we will accept that so any lot which has percent defective more than 8% we definitely want to reject that and based on these two numbers we even looked at alpha and beta alpha was the producer's risk and beta was the consumer's risk alpha and beta go in opposite direction so if you increase alpha beta decreases but if you want to decrease both of these risks then you need to increase the sample size so this is something which we have learned so far and based on that we plotted an oc curve an oc curve looks like something like this in oc curve this is the percentage of defective percent defectives in the lot and here is the probability of accepting the lot and our oc curve came something like this so this is what we said and we even said that theoretically we want oc curve to look something like this this is the ideal curve the red one is the ideal curve but let's forget about the ideal curve let's come to the reality in reality we have the oc curve which is shown in the black line here and in black line let's put alpha here so this is my alpha and this is my aql and this is my beta and this is my rql rql and this is my beta and this should be 1 minus alpha because alpha is 5% and 1 minus alpha will be let's say 95% here so this is something which we have drawn earlier now what we want to do is we want to actually draw one of the oc curve based on the sampling plan we can use number of distributions and we have not talked about distributions yet so this is the topic which you should definitely come back and relook at this once you have gone through the probability distributions which we will be discussing later on so once you complete that come back and look at this lecture once again when you want to draw oc curve you can use number of distributions commonly used distributions for oc curve are binomial distribution poisson distribution or hyper geometric distribution what we will be using here in this example is the poisson distribution and in this particular example what we have is we have a lot a lot comes and we take a sample size of 80 from that lot and our acceptance criteria is that if number of defectives in that sample of 80 pieces is less than or equal to 3 we accept the lot so if we pick 80 items we get zero defective that's fine one defective it's fine two fine three also is fine but if we get four defectives out of these 80 pieces which we picked as sample we reject the whole lot so this is our sampling plan and based on this sampling plan i want to draw the oc curve now we said that we are using poisson distribution for this so what are the conditions for poisson distribution so there are two conditions for poisson distribution the first condition is that the experiment results in outcome that can be classified as success or failure so whenever we pick an item the outcome of that should be acceptable or rejectable failure or success good or bad pass or fail so that should be the outcome here we are not talking about the measurement or something the outcome of any test which we do should be good or bad success or failure and this is what we are doing here in this case also we are picking 80 items and each item we are checking and the result of that is pass or fail good or bad the second condition for poisson distribution is that the average number of successes that occurred in the specific region is known so now what we will do in oc curve is we will assume different percent defectives in the lot so what we will do is we will assume let's say let's assume that now we have a lot which has one percent defectives in that we will work on that then we'll take another example of two percent defectives 
then we will take an example of 3% defectives. For each of these percent of defectives, for each of these lots, we will find out what is the probability of accepting this lot. So now a lot comes to our door in our factory, which has 1% defectives in that. And our AQL, let's say, was 1.5%. We pick 80 items. Based on acceptance criteria of 3, we accept or reject the lot. And we have already talked earlier, here we are taking sampling. So there is a good chance that some good lot might get rejected, some bad lot might get accepted. So when you have a specific percent of defectives in the lot, let's say 1% defectives in the lot, what is the chance that this lot will get accepted? So this is what we will be doing for 1%, for 2%, for 3% and based on that, we will draw the OC curve. So let's move on to the next slide and look at the formula to calculate the probability of accepting the lot. And in addition to that, we will use Excel, Microsoft Excel to do all these calculations to make this calculation faster.